welcome friends today we are going to learn about recorders as you may know that we need to record many informations in systems or industries or processes on a permanent medium so recorders are all about the permanent record of the information or measurement so today we will learn about few part of the recorders topic the overview of today's points are requirement of recording data different type of recording devices basically there are analog and digital devices but today we will focus on the analog recorders so again there are further divisions which will include some important topics these are graphic recorders strip chart recorders circular chart recorders single point and multi point recorders and xy recorders so let us see a simple recorder available for recording the process actually as i discussed we need the permanent recording of the information of various measurements these are basically important because in process industries we have multiple measurements at a given point of time and we need to analyze the data after some time maybe periodically it may be uh, annually or it may be daily or weekly like that so we need a permanent storage it can be visual storage like on graph paper or it can be on some digital media so basically we are needing a continuous monitoring of the measurements so for that i can write first point is continuous monitoring of process variables continuous monitoring of process variables so there are multiple process variables like in a factory when a machine is running or a group of machines are running there is temperature pressure power measurement speed and position measurement current voltage and other parameters are measured so you have multiple parameters to be measured so to compare more than one process variable a long time we require the recorders so i can say that in order to compare more than one process variable more than one process variable so these process variables are once recorded and they are used for analysis so you need the periodic analysis so we can have the periodic analysis it can be hourly it could be hourly daily weekly etc so we need to categorize the different kind of measurements it can be analog measurements it can be digital data so we need to uh, classify this information so uh, classification is required classification of the kind of measurement kind of measurement so when it comes to classify we need to check whether the particular kind of data is falling in a given category so let us classify the kind of recorders we require for a specific data so yeah, basically two different categories these are analog so these are analog and digital so digital so today we will focus mainly on the analog data so i am that is why i am writing on the center so again 
there are three kind of analog recorders available so these are oscillographic oscillographic graphic and magnetic tape or magnetic media i write magnetic tape so we'll focus on graphic today so there are two kinds of graphic recorders available one is your xy recorder xy recorder and other one is your strip chart recorder strip chart recorder so again strip chart recorders are classified in two categories these are classified into two categories one is galvanometric type galvanometer type and the other one is null type the one is null type so again in null type we classify it as linear or circular this is linear or circular as well as we can classify this as single point and multi point recorder single point single point and multi point recorder multi point recorders so today we shall concentrate on analog graphic strip chart galvanometer type null type linear circular single point multi point so let us see how a simple strip chart recorder looks like so a simple strip chart recorder you can see in figure 1 there is uh, commercially available recorder in the market in many numbers i have taken just for illustration one such image then figure 2 and figure 3 are different kind of strip chart recorders we will discuss in detail so let us start with the first one strip chart recorder strip chart recorders are basically provided with you with a long roll of graph paper moving vertically so here you can see this graph paper is there and this is the graph paper is there it can move in this way so once we decide the direction of movement through this paper drive mechanism we can determine that with change of time the data will be recorded so here you can see the uh, printing mechanism is there so along the x axis of this uh, figure you can see there are uh, recordings of the measurements while the y axis is basically the time slot so here you can see the paper drive mechanism so it includes many different components one is your paper roller where the strip chart in big number big uh, length is uh, rolled on the paper uh, roller but at the same time there is another roller which is called the pinch roller which controls the speed of movement of the chart so there are uh, slots on the chart you have special uh, scaling according to it the uh, rate of uh, movement of the strip chart is determined so you have a system for driving the paper at some selected speed you can uh, take in most of the cases from 1 to 100 millimeter per second now you have the stylus you can see you have a stylus over here this is basically helping you in printing through a linear shift mechanism so it moves horizontally and in proportion to the quantity to be measured so 
this uh, movement should be exact replica of the uh, measurement which is changing with time now this paper drive system should move paper at uniform speed because if the speed is uh, not uniform then the uh, recording will not be correct so a spring wound mechanism may be used but in most of the cases we use the synchronous motors so now what are the different kinds of marking mechanisms because marking on the chart is very much important to basically analyze it visually at a later phase so how do you do it we have different marking mechanisms so what are the commonly used marking mechanisms first one is with ink filled stylus so i write here ink filled stylus so basically we have ink which is spread over the chart while it is moving but the here the issue is the ink has the uh, nature of clotting in long run because if the stylus is not used on a regular basis then the uh, ink will be clogged it will be clogged that is one disadvantage of it and another one is that the ink splatter at high speed is uh, not fit it will give the blurred results so to overcome this issue we use the heated stylus heated stylus so here you are heating the marking material basically you are uh, the stylus uh, is uh, putting its impression on a wax coating of a black paper base so this can respond up to 40 hertz so uh, by heating by heating a wax surface wax surface you are leaving the impression and up to 40 hertz of input signal you can respond and the one is the chopper bar and the one is the chopper bar so this is another example where you are using the pressure sensitive paper pressure sensitive paper so you are using a v shaped pointer v shaped pointer to mark on the paper another kind of stylus is your electric one so we use the electric electric stylus so this is sensitive to current current sensitive and when you are changing the current the stylus uh, will trace on the paper this will have low stylus friction and a long stylus life but here the cost of the paper is the disadvantage cost of paper because paper has to be current sensitive so we have electrostatic stylus electro electro static electro static stylus here again we are using the voltage discharge that is basically the high voltage discharge where the recording charge uh, chart is around 50 mm white and 
it responds from the range of 10 millivolt to 5 volt per millimeter so this can respond up to 60 hertz so 10 millivolt per mm to 5 volt per mm and respond up to 60 hertz this is a good point because input signal of 60 hertz is responded so you can use it for multiple purposes and the last one in this category comes as the optical marking stylus optical marking stylus so basically we have these six methods now what are the different tracing systems here the figure shows two different type of tracing mechanisms the first one is the curvilinear system so you can see the first one is the curvilinear system curvy linear system so you can see uh, a circular movement of the uh, pointer about a pi watt is providing the printing mechanism through a pen coupled at the end of the pointer so this gives you a printing in a curvilinear way so the first method is curvilinear so you can see the example of curvilinear and the second one is a rectilinear system this is a rectilinear system so in rectilinear system as the name suggests this is a linear mechanism where the stylus is moving linearly so this is the example of rectilinear tracing mechanism so further we have the two kind of recorders in strip chart category one is galvanometer and the other one is null type so we start with the galvanometer this is a typical example of galvanometer type strip chart recorder so as the name suggests you have already studied in in your earlier uh, classes what are galvanometer type of instruments where a magnetic system is providing the radial magnetic field in which a circular coil within a former moves on a pi volt and thus a pointer rotates so this is the galvanometer system works in the same way as uh, a galvanometer type measuring instruments but the, at the end we don't have the observation uh, on a scale rather we are recording the observation on a circular chart on a uh, curvilinear uh, on a chart through curvilinear system now the second one is potentiometric system so in potentiometric system basically we have uh, three categories in null uh, type recorders first one is potentiometer second one is bridge recorder third one is lvdt recorder so here we are discussing the potentiometric recorder so as the name suggests you have uh, the voltage of the input compared across a potentiometer reference voltage and this voltage is amplified or given to the field of a DC motor so once this voltage goes to the DC motor it is able to drive uh, a stylus or deflecting mechanism through a belt and pulley system so once the uh, voltage is applied and DC motor moves the stylus is moving and this is changing the position of the jockey on the potentiometer thus uh, error voltage of zero will stabilize the final balance position so here we can see that in potentiometer category there are many different applications this is a self balancing mechanism where 
we have already studied the cell balancing potentiometers on the same principle this cell balancing potentiometer recorder is working now here you have the different categories of potentiometer type of recorders you have the single and multiple point recorders available you have the circular chart available so let us see how a circular chart looks like and how it works so this is the figure one for uh, a circular chart which is commercially available in the market if you have ever seen a record player with a record running on it the same way it looks and works only thing is in a record player there are uh, spirals where the starting point uh, is the rim and ending point is the center here the uh, recording is uh, on a concentric circle concentric to the rim of the circle so you can see the time stampings across the rim here the time stampings you can see across the rim these positions and there are arcs you can see the arcs and you can see that starting in uh, near the center it is less and near the um, circumference it is larger this is because when the uh, chart drive is rotating at a given speed then the tracing near the uh, circumference will be faster and tracing near the center will be slower so to give that benefit this arcs are uh, traced at uneven distances so you can record different measurements across different concentric circles and this is even compact version of the data recording system so going further we will discuss about the single point and multi point recorders so let us see what are single and multi point recorders the figure shows a typical example of honeywell recording system which is a multi point recorder so basically a single point recorder will record a measurement along time axis which will be one single measurement recorded over a time but a multi point recorder can record multiple measurements it can be as large as 24 inputs and with six different colors so here in the figure we can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 different measurements are being recorded on a multi point recorder so going forward we have the xy recorders these are another kind of strip chart recorders but here your recording axis both the recording axis are engaged for two different measurements so different from the case of single and multiple recorder where one axis is always a time axis here both the axis are different measurement values and two inputs we can see the x input and y input are given x input and y input are given through two different input mechanisms and the input voltage which is attenuated through the attenuator to a maximum capability of the input voltage recording is 0.5 millivolt so the input is attenuated to the maximum range then it enters a balancing circuit the balancing circuit provides an error signal which is again balanced uh, through this complete circuit and a servo motor is used to drive the printing mechanism on the chart so you can see the x axis 
deflection mechanism is available and this is the y axis deflection mechanism so the input from an unknown source is compared against a reference voltage and the error signal is amplified and this goes to a servo motor as long as the printing is going on thus this signal is the, the balance position is hold by the system so system is sensitive to a very low voltage of 10 microvolt per millimeter and slowing rate is 1.5 millisecond and it can respond to a maximum of 6 hertz of input signal so the error tolerable in this recording is up to point plus minus point 0.3 percent and this is basically the analog part of the recorders which we have studied today and so with this we are concluding the today's lecture you can ask me questions by different medium for my students i am available on whatsapp email and mobile number so you can refer to this textbook by ak sohane this is the most commonly used textbooks and today's matter is taken from this textbook you can like the today's session subscribe the channel and set the bell icon for notification Queries can be sent to me by email also emmifaq at the red gmail.com. So, thank you for your patient listening. This much is to, for today, and in the next lecture, we shall go through tape recorders and digital recorders. Thank you.